Hey dude, what are you doing click clacking away? Oh, I'm just uh, about to make a video about Dion Phaneuf. Oh really? Well if I make one too, then that'd be a double Dion, right? I said, that'd be a double Dion. Shut up. Let's talk about Dion Phaneuf. Cause looking at his personal numbers lately, yeah. Over the last few weeks, uh, starting to get some goals and assists. And just before all those offensive numbers started popping up, started nailing dudes. Game in Carolina, destroyed. Game in Tampa, into the bench you go. And slowly but surely over his first full season in Toronto, you see all these things coming out of Dion Phaneuf that make Dion Phaneuf. Huge hits, big minutes, and a goal or two to boot. And let me just go back for a second what I just said about his first full season in Toronto. Has it been? Because people have criticized him in the past for, oh, he hasn't done as well as expected. Well, maybe that over month long injury had something to do with it. So he gets traded to a new team last year, getting used to his new teammates, right? And he starts fitting in a little bit more, you know, scores Toronto's last goal of the season last year, overtime winner, but then the summer comes. Nothing wrong with that. Get some training in, get ready for those big minutes. And this season starts and sometimes it can be difficult to get into a groove. And I'm sure that it didn't help that early in the season, he suffered a deep laceration to the leg. Well, he's had some time to recover from that. The team's made some big moves, but everything seems to just be settling in. For the most part, the captain's shining. When he's scoring goals, they're vintage Dion, blasting them in. Even when he's getting assists, blasting them in off Grabowski's head. A good captain always finds a way to score, even if it means using your face. But I just feel like Dion's got some of that confidence, that swagger that allowed him to be, you know, the Dion, the double Dion from the World Juniors and from Calgary that we all remember. And by the way, that's part of the reason I love the World Juniors. A little guy's out there representing Canada, scoring goals, hitting people, and then he makes the show, brings a little tear to your eye, and then our little guy becomes captain. But I want to know what you guys have thought of Dion's game lately. Have people been too hard on him? Are they giving him too much credit now? Because the one thing I've noticed more than the hits, more than the goals, the leadership. Do you look at the really young core of defensemen in Toronto like Gunnarsson, Ollie, Luke Shen especially have thrived under Dion Phaneuf as their captain? Because the numbers have been big recently, but you always hope it's the start of something bigger.